Hello, I'm James from Red Cage, and today I want to show you another quick tip and trick, and this time it's going to be for importing files. All right, so I've had this question a few times uh, where people have asked me about, you know, what's the best method, whether I should use step files or IGES files. Um, in the end, it depends on the quality of the actual uh, file that you get. Sometimes when you get stuff from websites or from other, uh, other suppliers and things like that, they, uh, they don't always make sure that the files are cleaned up. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to kind of go through the process and show you how to properly go in and import in a file. Okay, now there's actually two different methods as well, just to keep this in mind. Because if there is multiple parts inside of the, uh, the actual uh, uh, step file or IGES file that you're, you're going to go and bring in, uh, you can either go into a part and do a direct import into the part, making it a multi-body solid, or you can go, uh, like I'm going to do here, and just go and do a generic import on the CAD file, okay? Which means it's going to go and kick it out to its, an assembly with its own parts. Now, you could also do the same thing with the multi-body solid, but uh, we won't worry about that in uh, this video for today. All right, so I'm going to go and click on Import CAD Files. I have some import files ready to go. So I have a selector switch, a push button, an armrest, uh, for the IGES, and then I have an empty file, just to show you some of the error messages that you might get when you try to import. Now, I'm going to start with one that's going to allow us to, to see something that's going to be pretty quick and easy to, to go and use. Uh, this is going to be an Allen Bradley push button, okay? So, this is one that I got off of their website there. It's a very nice one. Uh, it works out most times, and in fact, I would say actually every time that I've imported, it has turned out nicely. Um... So inside of here, we just go through and do a quick check on the items we want to, uh, to pull in. We do want to convert the model. We want to make sure we're pulling in solids, surfaces, uh, potentially wires if there's anything there. Um, I like to, to change this from, from composite over to individual or to stitch. Stitch is preferred. That way it actually goes and automatically heals the, uh, the, the actual surfaces and makes its own solids. Okay? So with this set... I can go to select, load the model, so I can see what it's going to look like before I actually import it. Now, this is a, an important step because if you don't like what you've done here, well, guess what? If, you, if it doesn't show up nicely here, it's not going to show up nicely during the actual import. So spend the extra time there, load the model in, make sure it's going to work, and then when you hit OK, it will generate the actual parts. Look at that. Beautiful little push button that's ready to go. Okay, let's try the import on a different object. So let me go in here. Let's go and open, import the CAD file. Let's see what happens when I do this with an IGES file that's, uh, again, a tested one that I know is working here. So we're going to go and open it up. This one, however, uh, because it's IGES, it usually just captures surfaces. So even though, even though I'm going to have solids flagged here, um, it's not really going to pull in too much in the way of solids. Now, wires and surfaces, it will go and, and bring those in. Uh, the option here is a little bit different because now it sees that it's, it's, it's a single part, not an assembly. So I still have the ability to go individual, uh, stitched, or composite. In this case, stitch. Uh, same idea. Let's go to select, load the model in. Let's see what it brings in. Oh, look at that. Lots of surfaces. Okay. I'll hit OK, let it bring it in, and there we go. From here, we could attempt to go and do a thick and offset to try and get a usable part. All right, so what happens if something does not import right? Well, this kind of is the, the last little option and, and item I want to show you. So if I go and I say I want to import the CAD file, and I choose empty file, by the way, this was... Uh, kind of a neat little thing, I, I just went into AutoCAD, put a dot in there, and said export, um, or I just export, I should say, and then uh, pick the dot, and it knows that it doesn't work, but it still kicks out the file nicely, so you can actually see this. Um, and when I do this, and I click open, in this case, I can select points if I would like. Um, I know that it's not going to bring in the point properly, so I'm not even going to worry about it. Uh, wires, solids, and surfaces, same deal. If I click on select, go to load model, uh, there's nothing there. Now, assuming that I did not go to select and I still hit OK, and I went through the process, well, I get my empty file, 
And I'd have to go back into the third party uh, HTML here to take a look at what happened. So I'm just going to go in here. So I just expanded third party, double clicked on the HTML file. And even though it says HTM, it is an HTML, but that's okay. Uh, anyway, when I click on this, it gives me my report, tells me where the file came from, which was an AutoCAD Electrical 2018. It was an IGIS type. It was a multi-body solid part, or at least it thought it was. It was originating from inches. And down here, it tells me, well, there was an issue. And the issue is, there's no bodies. So because there was nothing there for it to go and translate over, it translated nothing. Okay? And that's about it. So if you guys have any other questions with it, uh, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um, and for sure, look out for my next videos that will be coming out. And uh, take it easy. Bye. Thank you.